Well, hello friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee, and um, I'm planning my one bed. It's got my big trellis on it. Um, I got two small beds here. They're probably four foot by two foot wide. Um, this is the one that my husband put together for me a few years ago for my birthday. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to plant a combination in here. And I thought, you know what, I'll show you. We'll chit-chat while I plant this, and I'll show you what I do. I got this beautiful tool. It's called Bare Bones. This thing is fantastic, and I got it on e um, not eBay, but Amazon. It was like $35, but I'm telling you, you can use it for planting. You can use it for weeding. You can use it for turning up, you know, turning the soil uh, in your beds. I planted all my tomatoes in my garden. I use it in my garden, my big, you know, in-ground garden. I use it all the time. I love this thing. And I'm not doing a review for bare bones. I just love this tool, and I thought I'd share that with you guys because it really is a nice one. Maybe a little pricey, but, you know, it's, it's, it's heavy duty. It's not going to uh, break on you anytime soon. It's definitely not junk. It is good quality. Okay, I got that all put up. Now, along here, let's see, I've got all my seeds, my bean seeds are in here. I want to make sure I do pole beans. Well, I got the Hadista Shield figure beans that um, I got from a friend online. The black beans, those aren't. Um, the Mayflower are pole beans. Um, about this variety gets its name because it was brought to the U.S. along with the pilgrims. Mayflower beans. Oh, cool. I want, what I'm looking to see is if you can use these for fresh or shelling or both. Because I like to plant um, the ones that you can use for both because sometimes I like to get them fresh. And then there's times I just leave them on there for, you know... Shelling. Anyway, small square seeds. Small square seeds are bicolored. Square. Small square seeds. Wow. Are bicolored. I'm reading without my glasses, too. Well, with rose speckles. White. Are bicolored white with rose speckles. Um, love for their amazing flavor. Despite having string pods, an excellent dried bean, perfect for baking or canning. Whole bean variety. A perfect dry bean. We're not going to plant them ones. Those are strictly dry beans, which would be okay. Let's see what these ones are. I got the, when I rip these apart, I always put the label inside. So these are, these are bush beans. We don't want to plant those in here. We want whole beans. I got tons of them in here. Carrots I got in here. Let's see. These are yellow-eyed beans. These are a bush bean. I already knew that one. Oh, here we go. We can plant some of these. These are my calypso beans. They look like little whales. Can you see that? Those are pretty cool. You can use these, um, also known as the orca bean. This variety, once dried, will resemble a handful of baby whales. This Caribbean heirloom um, is one of the best for baking and soups because it is smooth texture and flavor will take in any spices you want. Uh, let's see. Now, I'm kind of looking for one, friends, that I can use for dry or fresh combinations. I mean, I'm sure you could do, do those. These are mixed beans. These are bush beans. What are you doing, kitty? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing, kitty? These are jade beans. These are a bush bean. These are a bush bean. This French heirloom is a tender gourmet variety that is for an early harvest. Picked early at stringless pot. Mm. Kitty, kitty. Oh, my 
goodness, what are you doing? You just want some loving. I'm trying to plant the garden. You got your dupa in my face. There we go. Oh, look at me. What are you girls doing? My granddaughters are here. Oh my goodness, she shed me like crazy. I got that all in my face now. Okay, well, I think that I am going to plant. Um, those are bush beans. Bush beans. Here we go. Oh, I just did that. What? Can I get clay? What are you guys doing with my wheelbarrow? I'm having a ride. Don't mess with me. You're having a ride. There's turkey craw beans, Kentucky Wonder Pole beans. I think I'm going to plant some of them. And. Some of the, was there bush beans? I'm going to plant a few of these and a few of the Hadista. You can plant different varieties on here, just so you know. So anyway, we're going to first, I have got um, cucumbers here. And I got the Wisconsin SMR. And I'm going to plant cucumbers with my pole beans. I don't know if you can see this. Let me turn this around here. I think you might be able to see it now. Maybe. There we go. Now you can definitely see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I got my cucumbers. These are what I did in my greenhouse. And I'm selling a lot of stuff, so i got to get this planted. Anyway, with that, right here, I got blood meal and bone meal. I use it everything okay so there's the hole I dug I'm gonna put a little bone meal in there and a little blood meal and I use the organic blood meal my granddaughters are a riot so let's see here we're gonna take this and these are very hardy look at the roots on them we're gonna put just a little bit of dirt in that hole so it's not laying right on them we're gonna plant them as close to the trellis as we can it was gorgeous. What you doing? I'm on a ride. I hope you don't. That tire is going to go flat. No. That tire. No. You don't think so? Look Say out. hi to your friends. Our friends. Uh -uh. <laughs> hi. Say hi, friends. Hi, hi friends. friends. Wow. Turn that way. Okay. I got <laughs> stones in my shoe. Okay. So now I'm going to do three of these along here because I'm going to do beans also. So, here we go. We're going to do another hole right here, right smack in the middle. We're going to put a little bone meal. A little blood meal. Beautiful. Sprinkle a little dirt on it. And here we go. There's a second one. You can see it in there. All real nice. If you break a leaf off, don't worry about it because it will come back. Okay, the third one's going to go right here. Okay. A little blood meal and a little bone meal. And just sprinkle that on there. Use that one for that. Nothing fancy. You don't need anything fancy at all. Look, at, okay, we got those there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work in a little nitrogen all along here because that's for the beans, just to give them a good start. Okay, see, I'm working that in, making it nice and fluffy. Okay. Now, you can hear my granddaughters are a fucking riot. Now we got the Kentucky Wonder Pole beans, okay? I just go like this. And I set a couple down in there. Just push them with your finger, cover them up. Got a couple down in there. Push them with your finger. 
another one. Another one. There they go. Um, oh yeah, we might as well. Okay, let me put these back in here. Actually, I might plant more of these and then plant my head just to shield figure beans on the other side. So I'm going to put a couple more in here. Cover them up. They're beautiful. Cover them up. Cover it up. There. Okay, so now the beans and the cucumbers are together. The, just the shield figures, those are going to go on the other side. Now, my tomatoes. Oh my goodness, you sweetheart! There's never a dome. Oh, that would break it. Oh, <laughs> wiped out. Okay, with my tomatoes, you okay? Yeah! Oh my goodness, girls. I'm only going to put two tomato plants in here. Look at that thing, it's so wobbly, it's all rickety. Okay, you guys got to go so I can finish my video. You sweetheart. You guys are a riot. Okay, here we go. I'm telling you, I love my granddaughters. They're the whole world. Okay, I'm only going to put two tomatoes in here. Both of them are determinants. One is bigger than the other, and that's all right, too. This, um, this is a gold nugget. Now, this is a determinant. Determinant means... And this is a compact tomato, which is perfect for raised beds, too, or containers. But determinant means that it grows a determined size and it produces a, a set determined amount of fruit, which is perfect. I don't want to plant that quite yet. Get out of the road, please. I want to put a little bone meal in there, and I don't have any fish. Blood meal, normally I would put a little bit of fish pieces in here. But I don't have any, so I'm just going to cover that up a little bit. I'm going to pull this out. But look at the roots on that. And I'm just going to rough it up just a little bit. Actually, i got to dig that just a little bit. So I've got to make sure that I can see that. Okay. Because with this, because it's determinant, I don't want to pull none of these leaves off because this is a compact plant. So I'm just going to push it down in there. Give it a nice firm press. And there we go. Now I will buy um, tomato cages for these because they're determinant. So they're not going to outgrow the cage. Now on this side, I'm going to put this nice little cherry tomato I got. And I don't think this one's determinant, but if it gets too big, I'll hook it to the um, I'll hook it to the trellis. So I'm going to plant that one in there. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And that, friends, is my raised bed. I'm going to put a little bit of my nitrogen, which is my blood meal. A little bit of my phosphorus, which is my bone meal, and calcium, perfect for tomatoes. It will also stop blossom and rot. Just work it down in there. What is what? The white stuff. That's uh, bone meal. What does that mean? It's ground up animal bone, usually cows from the slaughterhouse. That, friends, is where it comes from. The blood meal comes from the slaughterhouse. You know. I like that because nothing goes to waste. They use every bit of that animal. And if they're going to butcher an animal, you need to use every piece of it. Right? Is this, is this the bone? Ground up bone. And this 
is ground up blood. It's dried and powdered blood, yes. What if, okay. it, what if, it, what if we put it in water? Well, I don't think I'd want to do that. Why would it fizzle? I'd be gross. Okay, friends. <laughs> you are so cute. The questions you ask. Put it all right. back in there. No, I already did. Put it back in there. That's all my stuff. Um, So there we go, friends. You can see this. We've got cucumbers. And those cucumbers will be well established to the trellis before the beans get established to the trellis. And then we've got the tomato plants that are going to do real good. I'm going to put cages on each of them. If for some reason my cherry tomato outgrows the cage, which I doubt it will, they tend on me, they tend to get bushy. Um, I'll hook it to the trellis. But so far, all this stuff can enjoy the same bed together. Very good companion plants. And this is going to be beautiful. So there you have it. I'll take it to my other bed and show you what I'm going to plant in that one next. So let me get all my stuff put away, clean up my mess, get my garden cart that you're sitting on, and we'll head to the next bed. Okay, friends, behind me, that little bed right there. Last year I grew sunflowers in there, but I amended it because sunflowers tend to put off a bad chemical that has the ability to kill other plants. But I basically took that all out, and I put that soil elsewhere, you know, in my garden where I was going to grow sunflowers, and I amended it with fresh compost and um, uh, my fertilized dirt. So I'm just going to plant in here. You guys enjoy the music. But you've seen me plant two of my beds. I included you. <laughs> now I got to get busy and get the rest of my stuff done because my buddy is here mowing my grass and you won't hear anything. So you all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Are you going to say goodbye? Bye. Are you blowing bubbles? Yeah. Show me your bubbles. I think it blew too hard. Oh, that's a big one. Put both that way. Look at, don't, don't put your head. Aw. Say goodbye. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>